Prince Harry could attend a major royal family event with his son Prince Archie, according to a royal commentator. However, Meghan Markle and Princess Lilibet may choose to stay in the U.S. Earlier this year, the Duchess of Sussex remained in California with Archie and Lilibet despite being invited to the coronation of King Charles. Prince Harry attended the historic royal family event on his own without Meghan in May. Wonder why they didn't bring both children to the king's birthday, why would they want to hide them? If you've noticed, Meghan and Harry have never taken their children out as a reunited family. During Meghan's birthday dinner, Archie and Lilibet were also absent. Then, of course, the hardcores will respond to us that they're celebrating a cozy birthday at home with their kids. Why do they hide their children like that? This sparked rumors about the children's existences. They didn't even have any intimate dates with their parents. Meghan used security as an excuse to avoid showing her kids, why do she do it? Meghan to forbid her children to have normal social interaction with others is child abuse, and sure to hinder the development of the children's social skill as they grow up. The kids are her biggest tool and asset. The more she keeps them hidden the more people talk and so more attentive. To her they become more valuable to her lifelong agenda. Seize pound signs and not the faces of the children. The little boy stuck indoors with alcoholics, addicts who are paranoid because of substance abuse, but Archie is the one paying for their bad choices. Either way it's seriously problematic. If the kids do exist then isolating them to this degree that no staff or even casual acquaintances can in the normal way confirm their existence as a matter of course then their parenting is abusive. You'd expect with neighbors, classmates and the like to have at least some social media posts attesting to their existence, if only a casual mention. But there is none of that, none of the casual independent reports you'd expect of children being allowed out and about having a life. Not even children of the biggest celebrities have more life than this, and are more seen than this. This is so unhealthy for the children. So if they exist it's problematic, but if they don't it's problematic that there is this huge involved deception. It's so sad to see the little boys duck indoors with alcoholics, addicts who are paranoid because of substance abuse, but Archie is the one paying for their bad choices. That is why Harry and Meghan won't come to the UK to see he royal family. His Majesty the King always asks for the kids to come with them. Like in summer. The kids would have a brilliant time running around Balmoral in the grounds with all the other royal family kids. Back to current news, Prince Harry has just been put on blast for making decisions that will cause his children to feel horribly trapped in the U.S., reportedly. These allegations against the Duke of Sussex for his most recent decisions have been shared by royal author Tom Quinn. I can imagine Lilibet and Archie are going to get teased at school, possibly bullied, because people say, oh, you're a prince and princess. This is mainly because Mr. Quinn believes Americans, in particular, aren't keep on the concept of inherited privilege. He also posed a shocking comparison between Archie's future and that of King Charles. According to Mr. Quinn, when Charles went to Gordonstone, boarding school, at first he thought he would be treated with respect because he was the heir to the throne. In fact, that meant he was bullied far more than the other boys.